Welcome to Royal Dog Academy, an international dog training school where you can get a full range of highly professional dog training services. Your dog will be trained by our highly qualified and experienced specialists who can help you take your dog from beginner to advanced level. Royal Dog Academy trainers will help you find the necessary equipment and food for your dog and can answer all of your questions during one-on-one -on -one consultations. In between training sessions, your dog will be housed in a comfortable private space with air conditioning where you can observe them through video surveillance at any convenient time. Our academy provides multiple levels of education for dogs of all breeds and ages. Each level of education at the Royal Dog Academy offers different packages to fit your and your dog's lifestyle to ensure that the time your dog spends with us yields optimal results. We understand that every dog is unique and requires an individual approach, so training sessions utilize various techniques to achieve the desired level of training. The gold and platinum packages offer the pinnacle of education and training for your dog. One of the directions is higher intellectual development. An example of our physical development training is teaching the dog to stand vertically and hold this position, thereby allowing the owner to take an item carefully from the table without overturning the remaining objects that are on the table. Vertical movements on two paws can assist in opening a door. In addition, physical exercises such as crawling, backward movements, and complex tasks that the dog should be able to perform at the request of the owner to assist him in various daily situations. Big heel, big. Sit down, heel. Sit. Mathematics will help your dog develop the ability to recognize and count objects, as well as identify objects by quantity and the figures in an image. Mathematics will help your dog perform tasks that are related to the number of objects and the recognition of objects by numbers, which expands the dog's functionality and helps the dog better serve its owner. Correct. Communication Marina, between up. dog and owner is key yes, to a happy, Marina. obedient relationship. Marina, we will teach your sit. dog to recognize full sentences spoken yes, by the owner it's and to sit. understand now, the message of the sentence that was said place. and not just a short command. For example, job. after Good hearing place. the full phrase, Marina, please come Jack, here. we have some guests. Please go back to your place and wait until I say to you that you Good can job. say hello. The dog understands that he or she needs to return to its place and calmly wait for the owner to open the door and greet the guests. Service dog. These are different exercises that can be useful to the owner in life. For example, the dog can be trained to wake its owner at the sound of an alarm so that he does not oversleep for work. A family assistant dog helps in all the matters of everyday life. For example, the dog can help with opening the door of the dishwasher, load the laundry into the washing machine, and closing the door and turning it on. It is essential for a dog to be useful to its family, to have duties, and to gladly study new commands and tasks to fulfill its role in a loving family. To bring a rag and help to wipe the floor, to help with collecting and taking out the garbage, to turn the light on and off, cleaning its paws by itself after the walking. All these and many other useful activities in the home your dog will be able to accomplish after successfully completing the course of higher intellectual development. Another direction of the higher intellectual education is the nanny dog. This is very helpful for a mother who has one or more children in the family. 
such a dog will help her to collect toys for the children, to assist the mom during outings, and be an indispensable assistant. Here at Master Dog Training, we pride ourselves in the creation and development of our high intellectual education program. There are four different parts to this program. There's physical education, mathematics, geometrics, and communication. All these tie together when it comes to using them in our daily lives. So the first part is the mathematics, which helps the dog understand how many objects are right there. Like if you put five toys in front of them, they will bark five times. Or if you are blind and you are leaving somewhere and you ask like how many chairs or how many people are in front of me, they will bark say four times for four people or six times for six chairs so that you don't trip. So that your dog can bark however many times it is. We're gonna ask Logan what's two plus two. <coughs> yes, good boy, that's four. They also learn how to identify objects on the board. Good boy, that's two. They also learn how to identify numbers and so they identify the picture. Good boy, that's three. They start to realize the picture and or the markings so that they can understand what is actually there. The physical education part helps a lot with the dog building leg muscles and back muscles so that they can do things such as if you are holding groceries and you need them to open the door for you, they can get on their hind legs and open the door for you. They can crawl under places, say if you dropped your keys underneath your car and you can't really grab them, the dog can crawl underneath there. Or if there's just some tight places that you aren't able to reach or even if you aren't able to physically do it yourself, you can tell them to go grab that. There is also the third part, which is the geometric, where the dog learns how to identify objects, such as a big chair or a small chair. Um, also, if you grab your favorite toy, opposed to maybe grab the tennis ball. And it starts to identify like, hey, I'm gonna feed you, will you please bring me your bowl? And they'll do it happily. We also have the communication where we take simple sentences and tell the dog and so he starts to learn what is happening. Will I have to go in the store? Will you please sit here and wait for me? And the dog will sit and wait until you come out of the store. Or, hey, I want to feed you. Will you please go eat your bowl? They understand they're about to get fed. They're going to go grab the bowl. So all of these come together into one general thing and it's a lot that has to do with mental because this is not something that dogs do naturally. We have to train them physically and mentally and it takes a lot of dedication to do this. And there's one more skill that we teach them how to do in high intellectual education. In case you guys are religious, we can teach your dog how to pray and put his head down before that you start the day, when you end the day, or maybe before you eat. You can have him pray with you, thanking your God for food, family, and even the trainers here at Master Dog Training. And after you enroll your dog in our high intellectual education program, you will realize what your dog is able to perform and advance capabilities that can help you in your daily life and you will not regret it.